So I just got this new material in from Fly Tires Dungeon. It's called Arctic Wind. And uh, I'm a big fan of using uh, dubbing for streamers. So this is really nice. Kind of almost uh, uh, shiny. And then they, he adds uh, a bit of uh, flash in there also. But it's, it's rather long. Uh, the fibers are longer. So it's good for making smaller size streamers. And that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I played around with it a little bit and uh, trying a new pattern here. I really do like this. It comes in a number of colors. Right now I'm going to be using uh, white, kind of like a tan, and then brown. But it's all very, you can see in the package, very shiny, very, uh, very pretty stuff. So I'm starting with a Gamagatsu SS15 hook. So I've got these, they're um, by Rivers Wild and they're a um, basically a cap, that, but it fits right over the, the hook eye. Now it won't, this is a size 2, it won't fit over a size 1 ot, which I have also in the same hook. So just make sure that whatever hook you use, streamer hook, um, you want something with kind of a wide gap because this cone you don't want it to impede in the hook set, so you need some space here for you to set the hook. But that'll fit right over top of the hook, right there, okay? So I've got this non-toxic, uh, no lead wrap. A little harder to work with than lead, but... We're gonna push that up as far as we can. got this uh, Danville 210 flat waxed thread. And this uh, Arctic wind, it moves really well in the water. You can see it, it has like a nice movement to it. So you don't, you can use this as a tail. And I just pull apart just to align all the fibers like you would with any kind of dubbing. Pull out the extra fibers. We're gonna tie that in. And then we're gonna take more of this white. Tie it in on top. So then for a hook wrap, um, I've got this uh, saltwater sized flash boo. Now today I'm tying a uh, fat head minnow pattern. They tend to be kind of brown with white bellies, so that's kind of what we're doing. And we're gonna take the white for the bottom. Now just to ensure this is a durable fly, it's a little head cement. And we don't need very much, but I've got some of this uh, 
darker brown. Maybe about, use about half as much as you did with the other ones. Just a little bit to give it some kind of definition up top. And then I'm going to tie this in instead of right in the center and actually make that a little longer. Fathead minnows have this uh, like black stripe down like a lateral line, really dark lateral line. So I'm going to take a few strands of this, uh, this holographic flash of it was just really nice. And wet your fingers just to keep it together. And we're not going to have this extend all the way to the back. I'll kind of allow it to look like a tail back there because their lateral line doesn't extend you know, past the tail. So. Now you could just wrap this around the other side and tie it in. Um, I like having a little more control, so I'm going to tie one side than the other. This is going to want to go all over the place no matter how you tie it in. So I take some head cement, place it right in between where the white and the brown is. You want that. This holographic uh, black flash of is really pretty. I like this stuff a lot. So I've got some of this white and I'm gonna go ahead and separate. These are long fibers and I don't need them that long. So go ahead and mix these up so the ends aren't perfectly square. Okay, and then we're gonna kind of separate it a bit like this. I'm gonna wrap it around the hook. Let's look at the other side and make sure we've got good uh, separation. Whip finish. Add a little head cement to keep all that together. Now you just want to let that head cement dry for a minute. I'm going to use this. It's flesh tight. You could also use like a gel type super glue. And we're going to liberally coat that, okay? We're going to stick this head, head on. Make sure that the eyes are aligned properly on either side. And go ahead and let that dry. So once that's dry, I like actually doing a little more security here than just that. Now I've got this black, uh, it's called Big Fly, phone, uh, Big Fly Thread. And I'm just going to basically dam up the front here. So if you have trouble, like I just did, getting this to whip finish and not coming over to the edge of the hook eye, after building up such a large dam there, you can put something in it to hold that the thread isn't kind of coming over that, that hook eye. I've got this, works really well. It's called Bone Dry by Solar Resin. It's a super fast curing uh, resin. Make sure you don't get it in the eye. and then we can cure it. Look at this stuff, it's super bright, especially the white, the hot white is uh, 
glows almost, so it's really good for trapping fish. I'm gonna do one more coat of this just to really make sure it's on there nice and solid. Last thing, very important, sometimes these fibers can get kind of, when you tie them in, they've got like little loops in them and stuff, so just pick these out. So then at the end here, if you've got super long fibers, you can kind of cut these off, taper them off a bit. And these fibers are very transparent almost, so when this gets wet, um, you'll really see this lateral line a lot. Um, the tail end here and the belly, which has less fibers, that'll be very transparent looking. 